everyone uh, welcome to my channel very good evening to all so today i am taking the topic integration double integration over a specific reason so let us take one simple example evaluate double integral xy dx dy over the reason r where r is the reason bounded by the coordinate axis and the line x plus y equal to 1 See, whenever we want to evaluate integral over a specific reason, you should have a basic knowledge of geometry. See, I will go to the solution part. See here, the meaning of this, uh, in double integral xy over the reason r, where reason is bounded by the coordinate axis. See, coordinate axis means, these are representing x and y plane. These are representing x, y plane coordinate axis on suppose if I write this as x axis and this as y axis on x axis y will be 0 and on y axis x will be 0 so this indicates the coordinate axis here we are told the reason bounded by the coordinate axis I have written coordinate axis and the line x plus y equal to 1 See the line x plus y equal to 1, if I draw that geometrically, so that indicates this reason, I mean this line. See, this point of intersection is 1 comma 0 and this point of intersection is 0 comma 1. And the meaning of the condition is, the reason, this whole reason is bounded by the coordinate axis as well as this line. So that means, this is the reason. We need to evaluate this using the double integral. This using the double integral. So what I will do, I will write let i equal to double integral over the reason r uh, xy dx dy. To evaluate the integral we need limits. So how to get the limits? If we draw them, if we draw the given condition in a geometrical way, then we can get the limits. So what I will do, I will rewrite the equation, double integral. See here, this is x-axis. X is varying from, what? X is varying from 0 to 1. X is varying from 0 to 1. These are the x limits. You can fix either x as a constant or y as a constant depending on your requirement. In this problem, I am fixing x as a constant. Then how y is varying? y is varying like this. That means this line to this line. What is this line? This line is y equal to 0 and this line is x plus y equal to 1. Or else if I get this y equal to 1 minus x. Therefore the y limits are 0 to 1 minus x. I am repeat. I am fixing x as constant. So x is varying from 0 to 1. And y is varying from this line to this line. So what is the equation of this line? y equal to 0. And what is the equation of this line? x plus y equal to 1. So from this I will get y value. y value was 1 minus x. So I write y limits as 0 to 1 minus x. Since the first limits are y limits, we need to write the operator first with respect to y. That is xy into dy dx. Then if you able to do this, then you can easily solve the remaining problem. So this step is very very important when solving the problems for the specific reason. Now this is normal integration. So i equal to integral x equal to 0 to 1. Since we are integrating with respect to y first. Why? Because the limits are given in terms of x. That means they are y limits. So since we are integrating with respect to y, x acts as the constant. Then y integration with respect to y is y square by 2. What are the limits? 0 to 1 minus x into dx. Then i equal to this 1 by 2 I write outside. Remaining part is x equal to 0 to 1. This x also I write outside. 
upper limit upper limit is 1 minus x 1 minus x whole square lower limit is 0 lower limit is 0 into dx now this is equal to i equal to 1 by 2 as it is integral x equal to 0 to 1 also as it is this x I will write as it is and this I am expanding using a minus b whole square formula. So if I write a plus I mean a square plus b square minus 2ab into dx. I am applying a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus 2ab. Now this is i equal to 1 by 2 as it is integral x equal to 0 to 1 x into 1 x plus x into x square x cube minus x into 2x 2x square into dx x into 1 x x into x square x cube x into minus 2x minus 2x square now we can easily integrate this that is i equals to 1 by 2 x integration with respect to x is x square by 2 plus x cube with respect to x is x power 4 by 4 minus x square integration is x cube by 3 so 2 constant as it is x cube by 3 between the limits 0 to 1 x limits are 0 to 1 therefore this is equal to 1 by 2 if I apply the upper limit in place of all x values so what happens that is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 minus 2 by 3 minus lower limit if I replace all x then it becomes 0 then if I take the LCM and if I simplify this I value as 1 by 24 so this is the final answer See my dear students, it is a very simple trick. You should know the basic geometry of the lines equation, parabola equation and circle equation. Then you can easily draw the figure. From the figure you can identify the limits. Then you can easily solve the problem. So thanks for watching my channel.